I'm Andy Saunders and I've been building cars since I was 15. When I was at school, I, I just loved custom cars. And, and back in the 70s, they were everywhere. Every street had a custom car and that on it. And it just evolved, really. It just evolved uh, from a, a childhood passion. Tetanus, um, as she's named, was named that on the day that we collected it, uh, when my friend uh, who came up with the trailer took one look at it when we opened the garage door, and he went, I'm not touching that without having a tetanus. It was destroyed. Um, back in the 50s, it had been made prepared to be a stock car, um, but it never got raced. And then the guy that was gonna race it nearly died in a racetrack accident in Australia. Um, and this just ended up on the Yorkshire Moors for about 30 years and it had been used as a climbing frame by kids. Um, I heard about the car back in 2003 and went to look at it. It was so bad, all I've actually used from the original car is the bonnet, the two front wings um, and the scuttle and this part of the roof. Uh, everything else I've made, there, there's very little cord in it. I've made it look like a coupe. Cord made three coupes by special order, but they weren't as low as this and they didn't have the slope. They were very upright. Um, this is a full coupe. Um, and I've kind of styled it along the, the idea of what Cord would have made if they'd have made a prototype show version of their um, car that was for sale. That's the kind of look I've gone for with it. When I first got the thing, the, within a week, I, I saw these wheels advertised in a lowrider magazine and I just went, wow. They kind of don't go and they do go because back in the 30s, everything had the great big Lamar hubcaps. And that's kind of what these wheels resemble, but in more of a modern sort of style. It's a, a mingling of all sorts of periods, really. When Cord were launched in 1936, they were basically the first American production front wheel drive car ever made, um, copied from the Miller race cars at the time. This had lost all of that to Jersey Wolaski, the, the racing driver that owned it back in the 50s. When I got it, it had a little Ford engine in it, but what we've done to uh, just give it a little bit more poke is it's a little Chevrolet small block, 350 cubic inch, uh, high performance, mounted to a Jag axle. It's got air ride suspension. This is in its low position, it, it lifts up to go on the road. It's, it's just, I, I love it. It's uh, possibly the biggest project I've taken on up until the Riley, which is, um, <laughs> it's been even more work than this one. But um, I'm, I'm very pleased with it because it's just everything sort of, is everything on it is how I wanted it to be when I first started it. And if you've achieved that, then you've sort of done it correctly, I think. I love the Hot Rod and Custom Shirt Bewley. Bewley is, is such a cool place anyway, and it's a place I used to go all the time when I was a kid, because my dad was, used to take me there. The Hot Rod and Custom Show is it, good. It attracts an awful lot of people. It's a great day out. Um, I've been going for many years now, and um, to the point that uh, Bewley have made me the uh, brand ambassador for it. So if you're there, come up and say hello, and um, I'll tell you about the car if it's there.